what an amazing time to be in, in terms of the creative and technology industries. Uh, you know, we have the ability to now have access to technology um, uh, as individuals, as NGOs, as groups to develop new kinds of solutions for uh, all sorts of people in need. There's just so much potential where technology can go now to really impact people's lives. So I think that's very exciting for our industry. What an incredible category. Um, there were so many great entries from all sorts of different aspects of health and wellness. There were web campaigns, there were products and services, uh, there were uh, advertising campaigns. So uh, just a whole wealth of new thinking around how to improve people's health and wellness. I think the, the trend, some of the trends that I saw were around um, uh, empowerment. Uh, so bringing, raising the voices of uh, those people in need. So, for example, with the Sick Kids uh, entry from Canada, the idea of giving kids who uh, suffer from chronic illness, from disability, a, a strong voice, turning them into superheroes. Um, there was just all sorts of ways that we can empower these individuals. And I really love the conversation. Uh, you know, I think it's such a rare opportunity to sit with uh, these great uh, creatives, uh, business leaders, and to discuss these very worthwhile projects in, in real detail and to talk through some of the politics, some of the emotional aspects. Um, you know, I, I think the, uh, and, and to also see that everybody is really focused on, on deep impact, on what it means for these ideas to uh, go the long haul. You know, someone mentioned that some of these ideas are, uh, we'll only see the fruits of them over a decade. And so right now, what's our role at DNAD Impact in terms of giving awards to these, to these uh, projects when maybe in 10 years time, they won't be as seen as being new, but they could be having real impact in the world as well.